Hi everybody, this is Amy Scher with Remax United. Today I wanted to give you a video walkthrough of my listing in Cary at 201 Seymour Creek. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the important stuff, which is the house. There we go. All right. So Seymour Creek is located in a neighborhood called Brookstone, which is off of Highway 55 and High House over in Cary. So this is the front yard. It's got great privacy. Brick front, flat yard, which is a hard find in this market. And this is just a gorgeous community. I just wanted to kind of show you the streetscape here from the front. Like everybody does such a good job taking care of the yards. And everything is really well maintained. So this street goes around in a loop and then there's a couple of small cul-de-sacs off of it and this being one of them but there's about five or six houses there that's pretty much the cul-de-sac that you can see. The outside before we go in, so the brick front and then two of the three sides have been replaced with fiber cement siding by the sellers and um, it looks like the older style of siding, but it is lower maintenance. The north side of the house didn't need it, and so the side where the garage is located uh, has the original siding. And I'll show you so you can kind of get a feel for that side of the property too. Here we go. So as you can see, you really can't tell the difference between the two siding materials from the exterior. The sellers have created this nice little walkway to get from the front yard to the backyard, and it gives them a little hiding space for trash cans back there. Let's go inside and see the rest of the house. So first thing you notice is the house is really light and bright. It's got a two-story foyer, which is accented by all the windows around the front door and that large window up there. I turn the lights on, but you really don't need it. Formal dining room is here. And yes, you can fit a whole set of furniture. So if you have a buffet and a china cabinet and a table, all of that will fit in this space. And just so you don't miss it, there's also a bar area here. So the sellers left it kind of open for the new buyers to do what they want. Some people would want to put additional cabinets, some people want shelves, some people want wine rack. So the sellers opted to kind of restore it back to being empty so that the new buyer could choose what they wanted to do with the space. So from here, you get to sneak into the kitchen or into the uh, family room, which we'll see in just a second. Hardwood floor in the foyer in the entrance hallway. And then this cute room is either office, study, music room, but it's not your average space. It's got high ceiling. It's got a tremendous amount of windows and there's plenty of room for furniture in here. So the sellers used this as an office space, but they said over the course of time it had served several different purposes for them. And a lot of us at home office know that having an office on the front of the house is a huge plus because you can um, kind of keep an eye on things, you can see goings by, you can see when the mail and the UPS person comes home, that type of thing. And you can see the chair rail molding throughout most of the first floor in these areas, as well as the crown molding at the ceiling. Most of the interior has been painted inside in the last couple years. Really nice um, neutral color. Um, 
powder rim is conveniently located. So it's not like right off the kitchen, um, but it's also not tripping onto the, to the living room. So you can be in the family room and then come in here and have a little privacy. So this space is really neat. The um, amount of floor space in here is huge. I mean, those are four full-size windows. And then guess what? It's a two-story space. So you get a whole nother wall of windows. It's pretty awesome. Very open to the kitchen and the eating area. So the kitchen has some upgrades I wanted to share with you. Uh, one of them is the countertops, which are granite, and the other is the flooring, which is a laminated, or excuse me, luxury vinyl tile. So you might look at that quick and think it looks like vinyl or something, and it's not. It's those vinyl planks that are way nicer than sheet vinyl. And I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, that's why I wanted to point it out to you. And they've got some cool colors in here. It's got grays and uh, beige tones, so it'll really work with any decor. Um, while we're looking in here, there's built-ins on each side of the fireplace, and the chimney here goes floor to ceiling. Um, now, you might see that we have some darker carpet in here. This carpet is a little bit older, and the sellers are offering a carpet allowance. We decided not to replace it. Um, with it being a two-story space, we felt like some people may want to keep it carpet, but other folks may want to put hardwood or um, you know, a laminate flooring in here. So we decided to offer an allowance and let the buyer choose. Um, this granite is interesting, and I don't know if I can really show it to you on video, but it has a different finish on it called leathering. Um, you can Google it if you're not familiar with it. So maybe this will be a better. Well, probably the best way to describe it, since I don't think it's showing up on video, is that it's not shiny. And so it's kind of a matted finish that does a great job of not showing water stains and it makes it look really, really distinctive. So in addition to this being a very dramatic countertop, um, the sellers upgraded and had the, the leathering done to it to really make it a conversation piece. Um, if you saw it in person, I think you could appreciate it a little bit more. You might be able to get a sense of the texture over there where the light's hitting it. But if you touch it, it actually feels a little bit bumpy. It's not like raw wood, but it's not smooth. Um, but when you have it this way, you don't have to worry so much about sealing it. And um, you know, you still have a durable, durable surface. Um, oh, in the pantry, I forgot to let you take a peek in here. If you've looked at many houses, you realize that sometimes the pantries are very deceptive. You open a big door and find a little tiny space. Um, so in here, they've got a really decent amount of space. I just don't want to shortchange it there. You've got shelves on both sides. They're fairly deep. Um, and the sellers like to use this on the door storage as well. Laundry room is right off of here, but there is a door, so you can make it more private if you want. It's also a good space if you have pets or kids. Coming in here, you can kind of get everybody to take their shoes off and dirty soccer clothes or um, shoes from your run and uh, keep clean. So this door goes out to the backyard and it's actually got cabinets and a built-in sink here too. The washer and dryer do stay and the garage is there. I'll open the garage for you. There's not much to look at that's stored in here, but it's a fully finished garage, meaning it's sheetrocked all the way around. And there's only three steps going down into the space, which I think is important for a lot of people. These sellers have upgraded many things on the house, and one of the things they did is they moved the water heater from there to a tankless unit that's no longer in the garage. So now you've recaptured some additional storage space, they're leaving their workbench, so you can use that, or you can do something else if you want to do other, other storage on this space. They also left some other racks. And the garage door opener and door are upgraded and have been updated. They're not the original.
So now that we've seen some of the living spaces, let's go look at some of the sleeping spaces. This house has a first floor master. Um, got a coat closet here, which is weird. And it's under the stairs, so it goes way back. You can store your vacuum in here. You can get some boxes. You can have a double row of, um, see there's a shelf there, but you can do a double row for in-season and out-of-season coats if you wanted to also. So first floor master. We're kind of tucked away on the back corner of the house, but this floor plan has so many windows, which is a great find. Um, the sellers had their bed on this wall, but you could definitely do it on this wall also. Um, and sometimes folks like to center it against the windows and that would be an option also. Don't worry, we'll go see that in a couple minutes. Um, so first floor master with a tray ceiling. Still have the crown molding in here and the ceiling fan. And then the master suite is here. It's got a huge vanity space. Hey everybody, just wanted to show you. So you've got plenty of space there, a double bank of drawers. I don't think there'll be any fighting between folks that are sharing the bathroom as far as getting enough storage and sink space. That is a whirlpool tub there with the jets and a separate shower control. And the way they've done this floor plan is pretty nice because you don't have one of those big windows that's not functional. So if you're one of those people that likes to open your windows when you're in the bathroom, um, you can do that. Those windows both function, but they put the um, shutters on them uh, to maximize privacy since that's the way they kept it most of the time. Separate water closet for the commode. And let me show you the master closet here. So this closet, it's kind of hard to show you perspective, but this closet's big. There's plenty of room for two people's stuff, even if one of them could probably fill the space all by themselves. And these sellers are very efficient people, so like they added another row of shelving there, but it also has the extra hanging space. So if you needed to disconnect a couple of sections of it to have higher hanging for dresses, you could do that, but even this hook, range here for most people would cover most of their um, long dress wear, but they got it wrapped all the way around. All right. Oh, and I forgot to show you that this space has the high ceilings too. They've got some really cool lines in here. And don't forget about the linen closet. As many of you have probably figured out from house hunting, it seems like a lot of the houses are not doing a great job of providing storage, and this is not the case here. We've got coat closet, linen closet. We've got space in the bar area, and you'll see there's a couple more shared closets upstairs for linens and other storage. So let's take a peek upstairs. And I don't remember if I mentioned, but this carpet is newer. It was replaced within the last year. And this is a really awesome view of the first floor space. Very open floor plan. And if you want to display stuff up here, it's actually easy to access and easy to clean and dust because you can get all the way around from up here. And there's also some additional spotlighting up there. This is one of those closets I was telling you about. So when you get to the top of the stairs, there's like an extra, I guess, linen or storage closet. They've got some cedar in there. That goes to the attic area over the master's bedroom area. And there's also a pull down staircase in the ceiling just on the other side of that light on the ceiling. And there's additional space up there. So upstairs, you have three more bedrooms, one, two, three, and a bonus room. So you can use that as another bedroom if you needed it. Plus you've got the office downstairs. So there's plenty of options here. These rooms have all been painted. 
This bedroom faces the front of the house, but you can see you've got the nice tree there so it's not baking in today's sunlight. The roof has been updated on this house, which you can get a good view of here. And you can tell these cellars are meticulous. Look how clean those gutters are. <laughs> a decent closet space here. I know somebody will ask me why I didn't show them all the closets. So good closet space. We'll go into this one next. And this one's tucked away in the back tiny bit bigger than the other one and it has a walk-in closet which is really nice and this one has a view of the backyard which we'll see that you can see right over the two level deck and it's really private out there I like looking from the second floor because you can kind of get a good view of adjacent property and kind of see the way things look so this one's got a nice buffer. The backyard's still nice and flat. It has some landscaping to help the privacy. This bedroom's on basically the left side. So we're not over the garage. We're kind of over the um, laundry area basically here, laundry area kitchen. And this is a decent sized space. This window looks at the left side of the house. And you can see there's additional landscaping and it's again nice and kind of tucked away in the trees. And this also has a walk-in. Forgot to turn the light on. But there's a nice walk-in space here too. And as promised, there's another closet this is kind of the linen closet for the second floor is what it's designed for, but you can use it for a number of things. And then that was the closet I opened earlier that had the um, cedar planks on the back wall of it. So you've got the hall bathroom up here, updated flooring. And this, I don't know if you're familiar with this flooring, but this is not ceramic tile. This is... Um, uh, like a product that's not as cold so it's it's really um, it's really decent um, tub shower combo with tile surround and double sinks and a medicine cabinet we don't see enough medicine cabinets anymore do we it's nice to have a little place to sneak away some of that stuff but this vanity also has a set of drawers. So you've got really good storage here. You're not gonna have everything just hanging out on the countertop. So bonus room. And the sellers put a darker color carpet in here. Um, I think they would be willing to talk about a flooring allowance for this space as well. But I think actually the floor turns out pretty well because it makes this space really um, really interesting. So you've got the, the uh, roof line coming down, the ceiling fan, and when the sellers were living here they had a lot of furniture in here. So you absolutely can fit like a big screen TV, you can fit a pool table in here, you can do another bedroom if you wanted a big guest suite, if you wanted to work from home and needed a lot of space to work from, all of that is an option. And the way this window is set up here, you could put furniture underneath it. So you could put a piece of furniture that is seating, you could put a desk, you could put a um, set of bookshelves, that kind of thing. This set of windows looks out over the left side of the house also. And at this point, we are pretty much over the garage area. There's the pull downstairs we talked about earlier. I'm going to take you now out on the deck and into the backyard. If 
forgot to mention earlier in the kitchen that we've got this desk. So this was kind of a typical design when these houses were built. Um, we're seeing a lot of people use them as a great drop zone. You can also put in some wine racks and things if you prefer to do it here. But we are seeing a lot of people put like as a charging station. Um, you know, you can do a lot since it's kind of in the hub of the house. out onto the deck. So these folks took really good care of this house and you can see that the deck has been stained and maintained well. This is more of the new siding. Built-in seating on the deck. And little things. So like these folks had a piped-in gas for their grill. So then you don't have to worry about the propane tank running out when you have a group full of people and you're trying to cook steak. You probably remember that is the door coming out of the laundry room. And that's the path I showed you at the very beginning that goes from the garage side of the driveway into the backyard. And it pretty much comes right here and then you can make your way out into the yard. I'm going to give you a little look at the deck we were just on so you can kind of see the spacing. I don't remember the dimensions but there's plenty of room for a table, grill, play set, those type of things and then there's three st or four steps down into this lower level deck which is slightly larger. And you've got a gate that way if you had a dog or a child and you wanted to keep them up on this section of the backyard you can do that so again just like four steps down here into the back and this gives you a sense the houses have pretty good spacing Nice planting beds, nothing too hard to maintain, but nice. And you've got space all the way back there. There we go. And that's the master bedroom looking out into the backyard. quite peek all the way around here earlier for you, but you can see that the sellers have updated both of the heating and air units. If memory is serving me correctly, I think one of them is eight years old and the other is either eight or nine. I, I'm pretty sure they're right around the same age. They were very high efficiency units put in and these sellers are very good at doing scheduled maintenance and they have these maintained every six months. Crawl space access door, and that's been upgraded. So they've put a synthetic material on it, so rather than a wood that'll warp, and that way you'll have that much longer life out of that access point to get under the house. There's something I wanted to show you in the kitchen that I didn't catch earlier. So we've got a good list of upgrades here. Get this in front. Okay. So this will give you some sense of when things were done to the house. So the roof and the gutters were replaced in 2013. The garage door was replaced and had a new opener in 2014. The flooring in the bathroom was redone in 2015. And the kitchen granite and flooring that I mentioned earlier was done in 16 and then 
the siding was redone in 2016 also. So um, keep in mind, this house has a lot of updates. Sometimes people take that for granted and then they forget, you know, how much a roof costs and how much replacing things costs. Um, one of the things here that might be helpful for you to know is drive times to various things from this house. So you can take a quick look at that. Now that Harris Teeter, um, that's the second one listed, they just announced in uh, July that that one is going to close, but there's another Harris Teeter about a mile away. So don't fret, instead of being four minutes, it might be six, but um, there is a Harris Teeter close by. And a lot of people like to shop at Beaver Creek Shopping Center, which is seven minutes. There you've got a Target, movie theater, Lowe's Home Improvement, number of restaurants, uh, Kohl's department store, and banks. I mean, it, there's just quite a large amount of shopping and other things to do there. So, let me switch it back around. All right, so thank you very much for indulging me and letting me walk you through 201 Seymour Creek. Um, the only thing I don't have time to show you today that's important for you to know is this neighborhood has a community pool and playground that are um, part of the neighborhood and are included in your dues for access. Um, part of the reason I'm not going to take you there today is there are folks there and they may not appreciate me videoing them um, and putting it on Facebook, but it's a there's a parking lot there, there's tennis, I mean, excuse me, there's um, basketball goal and um, when I came over here, there were folks that were walking back from the pool having gone this morning. So um, if that's of interest to you, that's a good feature. And um, from here, the Cary Greenway system is very accessible. Um, I haven't timed it to walk it, but I think it's probably an eight to 10 minute walk from the front door of this house to the mouth of the Greenway, um, which is near the uh, main entrance to the neighborhood. So um, there's some really great things about the area as well as this house. Um, the asking price here is $414.9. And um, if you have any questions or anything that I didn't cover in walking through the house today, feel free to let me know. I can be reached at 919-818-5001 or via my website, amyshare.com. Um, you can text me at the cell phone number I gave you uh, or you can email me. And my email address is amy at amyshare.com. So thanks very much. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.